Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Sylvia, and I make videos on planning with the occasional review. Today's video is going to be a haul. Okay, I <laughs> have my ring light on. I, I finally pulled it out of the closet. I don't use it very often because I'm just no good with lighting and camera stuff. <laughs> like, I think it looks good, and then later it looks pink or crazy or whatever. But it's a dungeon in here. It's, you know, Colorado, wintertime. I think that explains it all. So I have it on. We're going to do our best. Uh, once I start taking things out of the plastic, it won't be so shiny, hopefully, and distracting. Anyway, this is my haul <laughs> from my unprompt shopping the other night from 2 to 5.30 in the morning. I should say morning, not night. Some of these things are from Japan's Amazon and then Amazon Japan. So uh, the things from Etsy have not arrived yet. That usually takes uh, quite a bit of time, especially since I ordered some things from the UK. I don't think I'm gonna get them even this year. And speaking of this year, we are in December. So happy December. I think this is funny because I swear I did not do this on purpose. My lid's gonna pop off all over this and you guys are gonna laugh so hard. Hold on. Okay. So this is like a till cup. The confetti <laughs> turns colors when it's cold. And then I put a green lid on it because I couldn't find the till lid. And then I put a red straw on it because I couldn't find the green or till straw. So it's Christmassy colors, which is fitting since today is December 1st. So happy December 1st. This is my own concoction in here, by the way. I take the, what is it called? Simple pink lemonade and I put it in a pachella and then I add like my own tea unsweetened and then I put... Uh, mint leaves in there. I couldn't believe here on the res, literally, because I live on a reservation. Hi, I'm Native American. Um, they have that in the store. Mint leaves. Fantastic. I love it. Good job, Farmers Fresh. All right, let's get started. I'm going to pile all of this off to the side so we can focus on one thing at a time, and we'll see where we end up. Okay, so the mild liners were the winner because they were the first way and the last thing that I pulled off. So <laughs> I was thinking as I was setting this picture up for a thumbnail about my favorite movie, Mean Girls. It's so hilarious. I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it, I just don't even know what to say. Watch it. Um, but I was thinking about Regina George and when she sits down uh, at lunch with her friends and they all hate her and they've been giving her Keltine bars to make her fat. Uh, she sits down, she's wearing pants, she's not allowed to wear pants more than once in a week, and <laughs> they tell her, you're wearing pants, so you can't sit with us. And she's like, those rules aren't real. They were that time I wore a vest. That's because the vest was disgusting. <laughs> and that's what I was thinking about the entire time. So when I made that video, part of me wanted to channel Regina George and say, those rules aren't real. So I pretty much broke them with everything that I bought in this haul and what's coming in the future, which I probably won't do another haul for. You'll just see that as it trickles in. So this was kind of cool. I really like that this sits on the side, kind of like the Stadler pens. If you've ever owned them, they have this clear case that kind of like the top folds over so that you can go ahead and put them on their side. Is that not snazzy? I love it. I've never seen this on Amazon in the US, but this I did get from Amazon Japan. And I just think it's so cool because I don't have to have a pen case for it or anything. I just put it on its side like this and I can reach for whatever color that I would like. And I think that's awesome. So I did tell you that um, in that video, I justified buying these because the Tombos are too long. They don't fit in any of my pen cases. And I like the brush tip because I have a really wide uh, handwriting and this will definitely you know, highlight over it. Whereas the regular my liners, I have to go for two swipes. So this is pretty awesome. I love it. And it's supposed to be all the colors, I believe, that are offered by my liners. Yes, I'm loving it a lot. So this is going to sit at my desk. That way I definitely can highlight the crap out of things. 25 colors. There you go. I'll probably do some swatches in another video because this is already going to be long as it is. So first thing. The next thing that I purchased, I actually pulled one out to try it in another video. Let me see where I put it. Okay, so you get one that's blue, pink, and green. And this is supposed to be white out but cream. So this is a Moleskine Large. These are the ones that come in the pack of three. 
I just want to see <laughs> how this works in here. Of course, this is dark grid, so I'm sorry, I meant square grid. That looks nice. You can still slightly see it, but I think it's less harsh than it would be if it was um, just plain white out. So here I'm gonna try it in the 1917 in the look term, because this is also, if I can find a blank page. Okay, here we go. I don't know, does it look darker in here than it does over here? Yeah, it seems like it matches a little bit better with the, I can't really see as well in the viewfinder, maybe I will later on, but I definitely, from right here, what I can see, think in the moleskin, it matches a little bit better than in the 1917 look term. But I love it because I am moleskin heavy this year, so that's why I bought it, and I think that's fantastic. I also have a Statler brand um, whiteout pen, and it's in cream color. I think it's funny to call it whiteout, but you know what I mean. <laughs> And it hasn't come in yet, but I'm going to have to let you guys know which one I like best. I really do like this because you can write over it smoothly and it's really nice. Sometimes, you know, if you go over things with whiteout, it kind of gets really hard and crunchy and your pen doesn't write over it nicely, but this works really well. So I'm so excited about that. Okay, so we have this one. I'm going to take it out of the plastic because it's going to be shiny, shiny and annoy us all. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I was thinking about this. How do I open it? They're staples. Got it. I was wondering if this was a fab find or if this was just a bad choice. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This here is the name. Um, I'm not going to even pretend to pronounce that. So whatever. It's a desk calendar, which is really cute. How do I put this in here? Oh, look. Okay. And I got this from Jet Pens. And they had a couple of different choices. And of course, being Sylvia, I wanted the monochrome choice, which was just black and white. And I think there might have been some gray. But this thing was $33, y'all. And it's teensy. I mean, look. Look how tiny. When I open my ruler, I will, you know, measure that. We'll do that next. Anyway, I I thought, oh my gosh, this is so cute. But it was like $33, $34. And I was like, can I really justify that buy? And I bought it anyway, obviously. Um, and I think if it hadn't been two or five in the morning, I wouldn't have. So cute. So I ended up getting the colored one because the uh, black and white version was only $3 less. And I thought, no. No way. It should be a lot less than that if you're not going to have any pretty pictures. And since they all kind of go together, have the same uh, sort of uh, style, I just think that they're just so cute. And I thought since they're teensy, I could put them in my uh, daily Jibun Techo just to add a little pop of color and have a little bit of decoration. But they're sticky on the back. This day has already passed, so it's okay to peel it off. Um, where is, let me go get my calendar. Okay, so this is my A5 Jibun Techo Slim Days. And it's a sticky note, so I feel like I can pull it back up and it's gonna be okay. It's just slightly sticky, it's not that serious. But look how cute. Um, was it last year? Gosh, all the years, they just kind of blend together, I'm serious. Um, I had a, a desk calendar that was like, a picture a day or something like that remember and it was so much fun I loved it I used it for ephemera because they were only about that big but the picture was still pretty big like it probably would take up a majority of this page and I was using it to collage in my bullet journal and I still have a bunch of those days I still kept them and repurposed them but I didn't want to do that this year because I was like, it's going to take up so much space. And it's like literally a beautiful tree or a beautiful landscape. And you really can't cut it in half. <laughs> so this is just perfect to add a pop of color. Once it's done on my desk, I can go ahead and add it in um, after I've filled out my planner because I'm one of those people that fills in like the white space. I don't like to write around stuff after I've decorated it. It just doesn't work well for me. <laughs> and even after all these years, I can never kind of... Um, 
figure out exactly how much space I'm going to utilize on one day and how much I'm gonna use on the next. I don't know, whatever. So this is really cute, what do you guys think? Um, when you're, you're sitting down to think about pricing, I always think, okay, 33, 34 divided by 12 months, right? I don't have to print these out. I know that there are a lot of really cutesy ones um, that you can buy and print out that have dates like this. I probably could have made this in Canva. You could probably make this in Canva, but that would take me some time. And then I'd have to cut them because I don't have a silhouette and I'm not gonna get a Cricut. Although if I stopped buying things, I could afford one. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know, you let me know how you feel about these, but I think they're adorable. And I did get these again from Jet Pens. I'm sure that you can find them in Amazon Japan. And I've also seen them, uh, where, where where's the other place? Oh, cute things from Japan. They have them as well. And there are, again, some other styles, but this one was a little bit, um, I don't know, more who I am, I guess, as a person. These are so cool, I love it. So, they do come with this. And I actually didn't do any research, I'm sorry. So this is supposed to be like a memory book. It says 2022 20, on it. And this is a place where you can take these little things after you're done with them on your desk because obviously they don't think I'm gonna be repurposing them in my planner or journal. <laughs> um, so I guess you can house them in here. I don't know if there's gonna be enough for every single day, but I think that that's what you're supposed to do. Maybe I will be able to go online and find a guide. No, I think there are enough for every single day. So that's really cute. I love that. Now I kind of want to use this, but I also kind of don't because I want them in here. I guess if there are some that I don't particularly care for and don't want to use that day or something, maybe they're too, like this is pink, but it's like subtle. And I think it's, it's really nice. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but you can put all of them in here. That's kind of cool. Huh, what the hell would I do with this if I didn't? <laughs> I guess it would go in the trash. Or I could, you know, just print out my own thing. Um, I certainly wouldn't read this many books in a year, uh, but I could, you know, take little pictures or something uh, that I enjoyed and, and shrink them down to the size. Hmm. Thoughts and feelings, I don't know. So I will let you know as I use this, whether this was a fab find or if it was just an impulse ridiculous buy that I regret. Okay, these are for, I don't even remember. The picture showed like um, the little, what are they called? Computer boards, the little, what are they called? Boards that are inside your computer. I don't know, technology. Um, <laughs> And I thought that these were really cute and really cool. I was looking at tweezers, crafting tweezers, because I don't have any. I used to have a set of tweezers that came in, I don't know, a birch box or something. I think there was one in, one in gold and one in copper. I don't know what happened to them, but I was using them for a while and I lost them. So these are really cute, Sharpie Sharp, and I thought they would be great to use uh, for putting down stickers, since I bought a bunch off of Etsy. <laughs> They've yet to come. And so since there were several for like six or seven bucks, I thought this was a better buy than the $12 they wanted me to spend for some, you know, crafting uh, tweezers. I was like, screw that, I'm not, I'm not doing that at all. So. I know these are not meant to lay down stickers, but they were black and I like that and inexpensive and there were several of them. So if I lost one, I would be able to find at least another one. <laughs> so there's that. So I am definitely calling this a fab find because I don't even know where I got that from. Uh, I don't know. Does somebody already say that? Probably. So I'm definitely calling those a fab find. So next in the haul are these guys. Oh, sorry, get out of the way. I have been trying to buy these for a while now, but they're always sold out. Since I will be going with several planners again this year, even though I didn't think I was going to be, uh, I ended up getting two packs of these and there's eight in each pack. They're just teeny tiny and adorable. I know you all probably either own them or have seen them, but man, they don't stay in stock long. I'd give them till the end of this year before everyone will have them and they'll probably stay in stock longer after that. Man, the sun's going down. I'm sorry if the lighting gets crazy. 
It's early in the morning here. It's just, I don't know, maybe possibly gonna snow. Colorado is so manic, if you didn't know. Oh my gosh, this is kind of creepy and scary. It reminds me of a razor blade now. Oh my gosh, is it gonna pinch my page? Am I doing this wrong? Okay, so I put it on. I was wondering if you could see the number one, but you can't, it covers it, that's okay. But there it is, and they're so cute and just so tiny, I love it. So I'm really excited to use these because sometimes I get annoyed with uh, my regular tabs and I wanna take them off and I can't because they're stickers. <laughs> so I like that these ones are removable. So that, in my opinion, was worth buying. I'm not doing too bad so far. Oh, wait, let's do this first. Okay, idea notebooks. These are the idea notebooks that go with the Jibun Tacho. This is an A5 Slim. And I don't like the little dot grid. It's something that bothers me. Also, this line. It happens in the Hobonichi weeks. And I've used to, I've used to, I used to have such a brain fart about it. Like, I couldn't write over the line. It's like, this is, this is a hard line. You can't cross it. <laughs> now, I've been able to write over it and it's not that serious. So I bought some more of these to try them out in my Jibun Techo days. Of course, they go like this. And you can put the cover inside here and it fits right in there. You can put one in the front and one in the back and it fits nicey nice and I love that. And I only had one from when I had an A5 like 2019, I think. So I got two more to experiment. We'll see how it goes. And I don't think that was a bad find because I have this for a whole year. Uh, so <laughs> eventually those might be important. Man, that ring light is powerful. Anyway, I wanted some clear rulers. So I bought this one by Tim Holtz because it was on sale. I already opened it before this haul because I wanted to use it right away. But it's kind of chunky and it is the whole 12 inches and it's a little bit obviously too big for my Hobonichi. Sometimes I misplace my Hobonichi stencil because I like to use the numbers because they're teeny tiny to number pages in my moleskin. <laughs> so I decided to buy uh, one of these tinier rollers. This one is of course six inches and they came two to a pack, pretty inexpensive. And I'm not sad about these buys. Um, good job, Sylvia. Uh, maybe I should start shopping more at two in the morning. I probably won't feel that way when my <laughs> Etsy orders come in because I'm pretty sure I bought some things that I really don't need. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so this stencil has Monday through Sunday on it. And then it has the little tiny numbers, which I love. And then of course it has lines so that you can make a calendar or even a habit tracker. And then this says habit tracker right there that you can stencil on the top. And this was pretty snazzy. These are actually bigger. Of course, I probably don't have one near me. Let me see. No, I can't find mine. I think they're all in the other room. Anyway, this is bigger than a business card. So it's also bigger than the Hobonichi stencils just by a little bit. It's not that much bigger, but it is what it is. What did I do with my ruler? I put it up. <laughs> oh, Sylvia. To just give you an idea of the size here. So we're looking at four inches by about three inches, give or take. So I think that this was actually a good buy. Good job, Sylvia, because I, you know, I'm always looking for an easier way to draw out stuff like this if I'm going to do it. So maybe I actually will. I also have stamps that do this, <laughs> but you know, I'm the world's greatest stamper and I just can't get it together. So maybe a stencil is a thing for me and not a stamp. So we'll see how that goes. So on to the next one, which is the Hobonichi Weeks. And so I didn't buy this stuff from Hobonichi. I bought these all from three different places, which I think is funny, but I saved a lot of money by not buying from Hobonichi because I would have bought so much more. I ended up getting these two, I think, from Amazon Japan. And that's why I went to Amazon Japan because I was, I saw this and I knew it went with this and I was like, I'm gonna find it. And Jet Pens let me down. They didn't have it, but they did have the weeks. I couldn't believe it. I thought it's gonna be sold out because it's so beautiful. Black, red, and white with a little bit of gray. Those are my colors, okay? And so I, I knew I had to have this. And 
I mean, I just don't know. Every year they have like one kind of artist. Well, they have a couple, but they always have one artist cover that speaks to me. Maybe I'm just a basic bitch <laughs> and I, I don't know, but they always know. They know how to get me. And the funny thing is the inside of this is always going to be the same. I don't know. We're not going to talk about that now. I'm not going to open these because I'm going to open them in a video when I talk about the struggles and troubles with the Hobonichi Weeks. But I did get these two. This one I, I said I got from Amazon Japan. And I just wanted to laugh and mention Emily. I love her. You should totally follow her and go to her channel because she's awesome. I was telling her how I never get a cover, but Sylvia, 2am Sylvia, she bought one. And I think it's funny because I, I don't know if I thought that this was a clear cover on cover because it has stripes on it. Or if I just love this the most because I wasn't myself when I bought this. But I don't want to cover it with these stripes because it's so beautiful. So I don't know. And I know I'm not going to buy another Hobonichi. But <laughs> who knows? Those rules aren't real. Anyway, I, I don't know. So I'm going to open this in another video. But I did get one of these. This is my second planner for the year. And I love it. And I know I should probably sell it. But I'm not strong enough. So what? And then... And then, and then, and then, I got some page flags from Paper and Cloth. I love their packaging. It's just so incredibly chic. Sometimes I go on there and I'm just like, I'm not cool enough for any of this stuff. But I just bought them all in gray. Because <laughs> that is, you know, who I am. Anyway, um, this one says champagne. It almost looks like it's a blue gray, maybe. I don't know. At first I thought it was like violet. It looks, I think, maybe more violet on camera. But they're all gray, and I got two of these ones because I thought that this was a shade I liked the best, but I wanted to try them all out. There are 50 sheets to each of these, and I just think that they're adorable. I will um, open this one. They also had black, which of course is who I am as well. I didn't buy that because I like to print out um, on my Dymo label maker. I was looking to see if it's anywhere near me, and it prints out black ink, and I didn't think you'd be able to see the words on um, a black page flag, so I didn't get them. Huzzah! <laughs> Using them already. Okay, so let me show you what these babies look like. You can write on these with a uh, marker or pen. You can also, like I said, use your uh, label maker and print out something. You can also put these um, on a piece of paper, on a template, and put them in your printer and print on them. So cute. You can use them to highlight things. Oops. You can use them just to tab your page. Fantastic, I love this color. This is like an elephant gray. So pretty, okay, what is this one called? Ash. All right, I honestly just don't like the page flags that you can buy that are just like fluorescent pink. I hate pink anyway. <laughs> so I'm excited to have some of these guys. Of course, I showed this in my 10 things. Um, I was going to say my 10 things I hate about you. <laughs> Funny, that's probably what I'm going to call my uh, <laughs> video for. I'm totally going to name my next video on the Hobonichi instead of uh, the trouble with the Hobonichi, uh, the 10 things I hate about you. That'd be funny. Anyway, so these are washi tapes by MT. This is great quality washi tape and it's not super expensive. And they had this like gift set, which I love. Because technically I was only looking for black washi tape, but you get this pretty silver one, which really matches nicely with my cover that's also silver, so that's nice. I love this polka dot one because it has gray in there as well. This one, I don't know that I'll ever use or love. Maybe I'll gift it to a friend. Um, and the white one I love because I think it'll be great to write on or even uh, use my Dymo label maker and put stuff on um, the top of it and this will have it pop. So that's pretty awesome. So yeah, I broke that rule too. Whatever, those rules aren't real. I also forgot <laughs> with your orders from, what was it called? Paper and cloth. I almost say paper, paper and cloth. Cloth, ugh, 
cloth and paper, Sylvia, cloth and paper. I always get it backwards, I don't know why. If I've been saying paper and cloth this whole time, I apologize, it's cloth and paper. I will leave a link down below. <laughs> anyway, with your orders, you're getting these cool little like washi calendars, um, washi calendars, uh, plastic calendars that you can put washi on, I should say. So this is good for um, this month, December, it started today. I'm kind of bummed that this is, oh, let me zoom in because you're probably like, what the hell are you talking about? There we go. I'm kind of bummed that this is a Sunday start because I'm a Monday start kind of a person, but still really cool. And then when the month's over, you can use it to put your washi tape around it or even put some page flags that you got from them um, on top and keep them in your planner in a pocket, which is so cool. All right, we're coming towards the end. All right, so these are by Chic Sparrow. I don't know if you can see that there, there's their design right there. This is Chic Sparrow made in the US. And then it says that this is a wide for the Wide Traveler's Notebook. I bought two of these a while ago um, because I thought I would be putting my Jibun Techo days into a Wide Traveler's Notebook because it does fit in there and I do have one um, because I'm trying. That's the one thing I haven't broken so far. Fingers crossed, legs crossed, eyes crossed. I have not bought a cover <laughs> for 2022 yet. Woohoo! Uh, so anyway, those rules aren't real. But I bought two of these just in case I wanted to put it in a traveler's notebook because it fits nicely around the Moleskine uh, large notebooks that come in packs of three. You can get them in different layouts, but I like the square grid. It makes me happy. And they fit pretty nicey nice around here. So. Line it up, Sylvia, geez. Okay, like that. Oh, you can see everything now. But you can't see me. <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, so then um, Sylvia from about 3 a.m. when I was on Amazon Japan saw these and decided to grab them. And then I bought this <laughs> with my Jet Pens order when I bought my Hobonichi Weeks because they didn't have the one that goes with the weeks, but they have the A5 size. And I thought that is so pretty in case they ever get another A5. Um, I really love the days. What is it called? The Hobonichi days. Is that, I'm getting all my days mixed up. This is the days, that's the days, whatever. I thought I would get this one because a lot of times they have really weird junky colors that I don't like, but this one was beautiful and I really vibed with it. So I grabbed it. This was sort of an impulse buy. It was definitely FOMO because once they're on, they don't make any more, right? I'm pretty sure that's the case. And they do that so that you'll buy things, even that you don't eat. And well, guess what? It's working. So there. Okay, man, that ring light is really working its magic. Ring light. No ring light ring light. Okay, sorry, squirrel. Anyway, I bought these because, and there's a good reason, a darn good reason. <laughs> uh, I already told you why I bought this one, so we're going to move it off to the side. These two I found on Amazon Japan, and I wasn't looking for them. I was looking for this one um, by the same artist. Does it say on here? Don't walk, 1952. That's beautiful. Anyway, I was looking for the Hobonichi sized one and <laughs> these came up and I thought, oh my gosh, they look so like who I am as a person. Maybe if I put them outside the ring light, you can see them a little bit better. How is that? We'll, we'll try that. Okay, put black here. Ha ha, there we go. So what I saw in the description um, on Amazon Japan, and also, by the way, you have to use, or you should use, rather, Chrome because it will translate things for you. One of these, and I threw away the wrapping, so I'm not sure. Well, I'll show you in a minute. I think it's this one. Said Moleskin on it. I thought, what? It's made for the Moleskin? This is amazing. And then this one, once I clicked on here, they give you suggestions, said A5 Slim, and it showed it with a picture of the G Boon Tacho biz. And I was like, what? This is amazing. So I clicked on them, and I saw that they were like in moleskin large. Um, that's what they call this notebook here. And I bought them both. So I haven't opened them, of course. Let me see which one is the moleskin. I know that one's supposed to be a little bit smaller. Okay, so I had them backwards. This front one is for the moleskin. This one is A5 slim. So moleskin happens to be a little bit more narrow as you can see there. Oh God, bring light. You're ruining my life. Over here, over there. Ugh, whatever. 
So there you can kind of see, ha, ha, I'll tilt up ring light, I have won. You can see that it's a little bit less narrow. Oh, look. Okay, so we have all kinds of dimensions here. Maybe if I can find the dimensions, I'll flash them on the screen. Because the Moleskine one is tilting up slightly taller. Just a smidgen. I'm doing a crap job of this. I noticed that and I apologize. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, okay, so Moleskine one. Here is a Moleskine notebook. This is the same size as a regular uh, Moleskine that's 190, what, four pages? This one, uh, again, is called Large. And it sticks out just like a smidgen here on the edges. Oh, I'm doing a crap job again, I'm sorry. Can you see that there? But the height is really nice. You don't really see it there or on the bottom. So this was a fab find, you guys. I am so proud of Sylvia shopping at 2 a.m. I don't know what time I was on Amazon Japan. I just remember thinking, man, it's gonna be nighttime there soon. You better grab it. So I'm really excited about that. So this one, which is A5 slim size, which I consider a Moleskine to be A5 slim. And just because I'm sure there's people who don't know what the hell I'm talking about watching this video, because maybe you don't, you know, you're new and that happens, welcome. Here is an A5 Leuchtturm 1917. This is more of a standard A5 where Moleskine is just a little bit more narrow. You can see that there. Um, and this is obviously, obviously, a soft cover. So when you have the hard cover, it takes up a couple more millimeters, but that's pretty much what it is. So let's try the A5 Slim in here. And that sticks out quite a bit more. However, however, it doesn't stick out at the bottom or the top. So if this was like a standard, I have one. Let me just get one. Let me just do it right. Here is a regular notebook, soft cover, Moleskine. So the thing I was trying to say is, if you have an elastic closure that you want to use, it's not going to bend this writing board, which is fantastic. It's just not bent, do not bend, which is great. And you can kind of see where it is, which I don't mind. That doesn't bother me. It barely sticks out. So let's do ah, this guy in here. And that one completely disappears. It doesn't come out of any of the three open sides. So, let's see. You can see how it comes out to about there. So you can see that it's in a little bit more. And this one I believe is for the Moleskine. So I guess it's not supposed to be plush with the edge. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Although in these notebooks, mm, it does come a little bit out there. Get out of the way, Ribbon. God, you're even annoying when I'm not using you. For Lord's sake. I just watched Eloise, by the way. I love that show. <laughs> love the books as well. Okay, so that is what I was trying to show you there. I highly recommend, and I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but Sylvia, when you're editing this back, since I keep talking about myself in third person, um, I would suggest putting a tab on here whether it's removable or a sticky note tab that says today kind of like, uh, I don't think I have it. Okay, so this one is the A5 Slim for the G-Boon Tacho. And here's A5 Slim. So a little bit more narrow than this. This one's for the Moleskine. So this one's like in between these, which I think is funny. <laughs> a little bit bigger than this. And there, all three of them are together. So that's interesting. But you see how the Jibun Techo has a little uh, today tab. You can do that with these, especially if you're going to use this in a Moleskine and it pretty much disappears in there. You can still, obviously, when you're fanning through this, feel where it is and find your place. But um, you could put a little tabby on there and it's easier for you to find it right away. I love these things. Thank you so much, Sylvia from the past. Haha. -ha. Fab find.
Also, you should note that they did have these in the standard uh, traveler's notebook size and passport size. And I love to use these uh, to put my sticky notes on because um, then when I open any planner, any bullet journal, if I have like to do sticky notes on here, the getting things done sticky notes that I love, um, I can see them no matter where I am on a page or in a planner. So I highly recommend if you've never tried writing boards. And the last thing is a little bit of a rant. So for those of you who are not pen lovers or are not going to appreciate, you know, what I'm about to say, this is not for you. Okay. <laughs> Every once in a great while, I have somebody who's just like, says something about something. You know what I mean? And you're like, obviously, this was not for you. Why did you click? I mean, it clearly said in the title what the hell was going to happen. Anyway, so these are, let's zoom in a smidgen and make this a little bit clearer. These are the friction point knock in a point four. So this year I have been using, do I even have that pen near me? No, because I'm not prepared. Okay, I found it. I have been using um, almost every day on a daily basis, this Friction Biz 2, which houses um, the 0.38 cartridge. And this is, of course, um, a multi barrel pen. You get two of them in here, but this is a skinny mini uh, cartridge. And the trouble I have with this, the struggle, is real. Um, they don't make this cartridge in the standard larger cartridge that you can get the 0.5, which I have here. Here's a 0.5. And you can also, why are you rolling? Stop it. Messing up my whole video. <laughs> you can also get it in the 0.4. Look how big these cartridges, cartridges <laughs> are in comparison. So what I've been doing since I personally don't particularly care for any other color than black. I've been putting two black cartridges in here in case I run out on the go. And these have like special um, like metal uh, cartridges you can buy for this pen that have like this black mark around it so that you can know which one's black um, because it comes out of the tip here. And then which one is another color like say this one was red it would have a little red one I actually did this myself with a pen and just bought um, like 14 <laughs> a pack of like I think there's three in a pack and I bought 14 of them that came in a bundle um, of these guys because I was like oh my god I'm gonna run out they're so small and because I was annoyed by that I thought maybe I should go back to a 0.5 with the larger cartridges so I have this one that I've been using and I've had it for years and years and years. But it was getting kind of dirty, this part, because I have it so long. I don't know if I can clean this with like, it's kind of yellow here because the ring light is angry. It's not really showing any flaws. Thank you, ring light. Um, but yeah, I've had it forever. And I decided to start using it this past week. And I know that on Amazon um, US, you can buy a whole pack of just the white one because I like the white one. It matches with everything. It makes me happy. <laughs> I don't know how many come in a pack, maybe five, maybe eight. I don't know. But then I started using it. Can you hear that? Just all flipping day. Every time I pick it up, I'm like, what is that? Click, 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 click. And I thought, has it always done that? It doesn't happen when it's not you know, extended. And here I have, oh, I took it apart, but I had a blue one <laughs> here and it doesn't happen when, it, and it doesn't happen, but when it, when it's clicked down, this doesn't have a thing, so it's even louder, but I just couldn't handle it all day long. Every time I was writing, every time I moved, it was like a little rattlesnake in the room with me and I was freaking out. So I was like, great, I'm going to have to buy a biz version, which is usually more expensive, um, in the 0.5 because I can't handle this anymore. So when I was going to do that, I remembered that I had a 0.4 because I remembered my friend um, Jen uh, from Planner Chicky. She had bought a whole set of these friction point knocks. They come in a bunch of different colors that I just didn't want because I only want black. Uh, they're kind of like the Sarasa Grand where the body also has the same color of ink on the inside. So I bought a pack of three and it came with a black one like this, a blue one and a red one. And look, no sound. 
also clicked absolutely silent and that was a beautiful thing so I said yep point four is for me and it's in between these a point three and a point five and again if you're not a pen lover and you don't like friction pen this is not for you you can already go ahead and, and leave the video <laughs> this is just for everyone else and me talking this through anyway so coming to the point I decided to go ahead <laughs> and go on to Amazon uh, Japan and I found these and luckily because I was able to copy and paste it into Amazon US, I could find them here and get them sooner, so I did. And they came in this pack of one, two, three, four, six, because uh, I can count, and I love them. I love this one because it reminds me of what happens when you heat metal, just beautiful. And this one, which is more of like a still gray, it's just kind of lovely. It has that color that almost looks like it's violet, but it's not, so pretty pink which is hideous you know how I feel about pink bubblegum pink um, Pepto-Bismol pink it's not for me it looks like it has like little I don't know kind of dots that makes it look like it sparkles but it doesn't it's cool I'll probably give it to my niece this one which is so pretty it's kind of like a mint color and it has like this frost and by the way all of these have like a very thin grip which is really nice I love it and then it has like a little um, I don't know if you can see there, they're like little leaves. And I just think it's so beautiful. And it's clear. Like you can, that dark part right here, I know my ring light hits my face. Um, but that is actually the cartridge you can see through a little bit. So that is really cute. And then I got a brown, which I don't usually gravitate towards, but occasionally I do have brown stuff like my Hobonichi cover. I'll have to flash the screen because I don't think I have flash it on the screen because I don't think I have it in here. Um, but it's beautiful, the fantasy cover, and it, it had brown, so this would match nicely with that, so I'm glad I got it. And then of course, I got another black one, but this one, I gotta put this back together. Give me one second. Is not the same. This, I, oh, the stupid ring light. <laughs> uh, this one has like a, it's like clear, kind of slightly clear, so you can see the inside workings of the, the anatomy of this pen, and it's so, beautiful I like it it almost looks like there's stripes and there possibly are like thin gray stripes and then this one is just solid black so um, that's great and I love that I can keep this one with my planner or my journal that I like to keep in my room and this one can go with me um, every day so happy to have them okay also I should let you know that another hack is that you can put the point four ink cartridge because they are the same size into a 0.5 pen and vice versa so if you bought these and you feel like you like a 0.5 better because you like the thicker line but you want the prettier bodies like these ones look old and kind of junky style and these ones look a lot more professional see how that's just nicey nice in comparison um, you can switch them out and I've been doing that for the past week and it works perfectly fine of course the point four has more of a needle tip but haven't had a problem it doesn't push in oops I'm not even in frame <laughs> it doesn't push in or anything when you're writing it's just a really nice uh, fit and it works just fine all right so thank you for all those pen lovers who stayed for that last part <laughs> and remember you can't sit with us uh, if you don't like pens so there's that also quickly before you go I got a third planner I know after I made that video and it said that I had bought a Hobonichi Weeks and now I had two I bought another one so now I'm up to three and last year I had three so technically I'm no worse no better but also no worse glass half full glass half empty who are you so this one is the Moleskine 2022 weekly notebook diary and I already did a review on this which I don't know if it'll go up before this or not and that's why it's already opened and the thing is like off uh, but it looks like this Hobonichi style and if you watch that video or if you have watched that video you know that I have a hack if you're a Sunday start person and also if you like to have your Saturday and Sunday separate I have a hack for that too. All right, so let me know down below if you've had any fab finds so far this um, towards the end of the year for 2022. And also let me know down below if you don't have a fab find, if there's something that you've already purchased that you regret. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!